So welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, it feels like, since I've done a video and a lot's been happening. Most of it is just so mundane. That keeps me busy. I've been doing tiling, which you've probably seen on Instagram. I've been fixing a tap. Tomorrow, I need to fix the shower. So these are all the things when I think I'm taking a step forward, I'm actually taking a step back that I've been doing when it comes to home renovations. With this car, not a lot's happened. The key, I think, is broken that I talked about last time where it was intermittently working, so I have switched to the backup key, which I have now found. Um, it wasn't in a safe place, I'm just stuck in a drawer somewhere. So I found it and it works more consistently. I think the other one's like, on the way out. It still works, but that'll remain as a spare key now, which is fine. Also, I've had this car for nearly three years now, so in another two months, two months, I'll have had it three years. And I've just realized that I had the oil service done two years ago. So I gotta book that in with Jack. Also, in other news, podcasts have gone live, so I, I'm hoping that you've gone out and listened to the podcast that we did with Lee Sibley of Nine Works uh, with Lara, that Porsche girl from California. I had a great fun on those two. It was an absolute blast. And then most recently, which has gone out actually today, which is a Monday, James from Auto Amateur. That was a great laugh as well. Really enjoyed that. Great talking to people like-minded and they're doing stuff. I'm not really doing stuff apart from what I am driving and I shouldn't be doing that, I've literally just fired it up. I'm on, a milk, I'm on a milk run by the way, so it's a bit of an emergency milk run, and I'm going a bit further, van driver just came over onto my side of the road, because van drivers hate Porsche drivers. I did not know that was a thing. Now my wife, has, as you know, has started driving this car, because we don't have another car, and she said, what is it with van drivers? Van drivers hate Porsche drivers. I did not know that was a thing, but it is a thing. Anyway, so, podcasting has been going brilliant. The next one that we're going to do is just going to be me and Mark, because we've neglected to do enough of those, and hopefully at some point we're going to do every other one's going to have a guest on it. <clears throat> Not always, but sometimes, most times. And that's going to follow a pattern. But also, I have, in, in big news, I took the cover off the Boxster to have a look and I put the battery in to wind up the window, to roll up the window, roll up the window, to up the, to close the window and hang on, let me get out onto this road, it's hard for me to turn around, uh, da, da, da. let's go and floor it. Oh my goodness, I can't go to 7,000 revs, I only go to six because there's a car in the way. In fact, there's a long train of cars and I think it's a caravan at the front. Anyway, so the window is now closed, but I'm, I'm, I just shuddered because of what I'm thinking, what it was like in there. So I didn't do a video of cleaning it, but anyway, I'm just going to show you now what, it's, it's like a minute or so long of what it was like when I first went in. Have a look at this. Right, let's start the seats. This is what's happening to the seats. Door handle. Vents. Okay, this is the really gross bit. Are you ready? Oh my god. I think that's it. On the gear stick. Look at that. Now that actually looks better on video than it actually did Ferrari. It was so awful, I, I could have gagged. And it, so I just went in there with bleach. Like, you know, 
uh, kitchen antibacterial stuff, put it on a cloth, cleaned it all up. A lot of the stuff has probably come off the surfaces, like, you know, the rubber finish or whatever it is, I don't really care. I fired it up and it did fire up. It actually sounded great. And I left it running for a bit and obviously all the, because I, I then took the roof down, I let it breathe a little bit. I need to go back and put the dehumidifying little packs in the car. Um, so I fired it up and it sounded great and then the check engine light came on and I think it must be a blip so I need to I need to drive it so that's the next thing that's what's gonna happen soon so anyway I should have turned left just there because that's where the co-op is and it's a really long way down here for me to then go and come back <coughs> anyway so one of the things that I've been thinking about is obviously doing more stuff with the podcast getting more guests I mean we've had really good guests um, maybe going a little bit left field because it's a bit of a circuit thing isn't it everybody goes on the podcast and it's, it's a different type of conversation I, I like to think that we have a different type of conversation with me and Mark when we um, when we get guests on I think it's mostly because I don't know how to interview anybody so that's probably a lot of it I just gabble on and on or Mark calls it crap on and that is what I do also I need to get this car cleaned I need to get this car cleaned I should clean it so Paul from engineering he's got loads of stuff as you can see, it's in a really awful state, and inside, it's horrific. So, that's something I need to go and get done. Now, as well as that, I need to find a job. Because I'm not earning any money, and I am now desperately broke. And I don't want it to get to the stage where I have to sell the car. Well, obviously the box I'm going to sell probably in about six weeks when the weather will be a lot better and everyone will be talking about it's the next best, best thing big thing so that's what I'm thinking about right I'm gonna do a cheeky turn uh, here I mean like a truck stop lay-by thing like Jeremy Clarkson would say like a prostitute murder hangout uh, right <clears throat> but yeah I need to go and get a job so a few people have contacted me and said oh do you want to come and do this do you want to come and do that and and previously I've just gone no uh, no I haven't gone no I've just not responded well, I could have gone fourth we're doing 65 like three and a half thousand revs and we're going uphill it's quite nice anyway that's what I'm going to do but in the meantime I <clears throat> my wife's birthday is coming up I need to find her a present I need to find some money to get her a present and I need to continue chipping away at the things that need doing at the house I was hoping that I'd move forward the tiling was something I always needed doing and that would kind of tidy up the kitchen because we took an auger out well, great that kind of worked out but as soon as that was done the kitchen tap broke so because it's an old house and stuff was done to it a long time ago you can't you don't just go well I'll just replace the tap no you've got to re-engineer everything that's the annoying thing so I had to get under there oh dude why didn't indicate now it's somewhere in a really slow Honda Jazz in front of me anyway so then that happened then I went to go out and I went in the coat cupboard and coat cupboard it's not a cupboard coat I 
still is a cupboard. I went to go in there and my coat was wet and it's because the main bathroom doesn't get normally used to shower, my children use the bath and my wife had used it and water just poured out so when I had a look at it the grout's falling out it's falling out the bottom which means it's probably leaking somewhere towards the top where the actual shower in the wall is this is boring I'm sorry but so I need to do that and then I need to get the box stuff over to oh my god what's this person doing I need to get the box stuff over to Jack who I saw for a coffee the other day, which was great. I haven't seen him in ages. So I'm gonna get do that, get the boxer over to him, and also talk to him about changing the oil on this. Because this car is getting an absolute hammering at the moment. It's just used. I mean, yesterday, I've been out in it twice already today. Two five minute journeys, like five minutes there, five minutes back, because they were urgent. And stupidly, I didn't, I didn't know that would run out of milk. So now I'm out on the milk run. It's the longest milk run in the world because it's taken me so long. But also, I, I should have said this right at the beginning and now this video is too long. I am on the hunt for a family wagon. Now, my wife says she'd prefer if it was a VW. She doesn't care if it's a Polo or a Golf or a Passat. She said, oh, Maybe we should have a Passat Estate. Oh. Uh, she hates estate cars. But she's saying now we keep going to the tip and we've got to maximize each journey so we should just get an estate car. Get one like 10 years old for about three or four grand. We can use it as a family car. It'll be safe, it's practical, reliable, but also a bit of a tank to take stuff to the tip or if we go away. And then in a couple of years, you go enough and go and buy something that we really like. Now the price of these cars has gone really high at the moment. So, you know, I saw one, 2011, I think it was, Passat Estate, one of the blue motion ones. So, you know, efficient, 30 pounds road tax, 60 miles per gallon, <clears throat> but 131,000 miles and I actually went to see it. I should have taken a photo. But the photos on Autotrader did not show up very clearly the fact that the interior was chocolate brown. I mean, the dashboard was chocolate brown. I've not seen that in a car that isn't from 1978 or an Austin Allegro from 82, which I learned to drive in. But and now the other alternative was for 2,800 pounds, so this was 4,200 4, that passed out. Or the same garage, 2,800 pounds was a one series BMW, really bog standard, with 109,000 miles. Now, the problem with the pass out was, which I've discounted because there was no record of a cam belt service and it needed pads and discs, I thought. And the guy said, oh, well, we can flex on the price a little bit. But I thought, no, that's like a, that's hundreds of pounds. No. BMW, I don't know, it's rear wheel drive. As an everyday car around the country lanes. I don't know. Um, and there's a Golf nearby, which is 2011, or was it 2010? But it's 4,200 pounds and it's completely and utterly bog standard, bottom of the range. I mean, it's got everything I need. Air conditioning, traction control, it's 1.6 TDI-SE or something. So, you know, but it just looks like, you know, it's such an old man car. And I am too old now to be driving an old man car, ironically. You can only get away with that if you're younger than me. So anyway, that's where I am. I'm gonna stop rambling on because I'm almost at the shop. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like, and I will catch you on the next video or the podcast. Thank you very much.